Watch the rubber band, it'll actually pop right Wait, through. Wait, what? Oh, that is amazing! It will lift up off the coin. Alien sword that goes right through the cow. Two link rings inside this can of Pringles. Watch the card. Whoa! How did you do that? What's good? Welcome back to How To Magic. Oh, oh, magic! Today's episode of How To Magic is brought to you by Liquid Death Mountain Water. Don't be scared, it's just water. I am your host, Evan Era. Today I'm showing you seven visual magic tricks that anyone can do. <laughs> Would you look at that? So if you're ready, hit that thumbs up button and let's go. This trick looks impossible. I have an empty can of Pringles here because someone once told me that the best place to keep your chips is in one of these, but I misheard them. I thought they said this is the best place to keep your stick. So for years, I've been keeping my pool stick inside this can of Pringles. And it's just the perfect container for it. All you need to set this up at home is a can of Pringles and this right here. This is a magic appearing pool cue. Stay tuned for the end of the video if you want to win this in this week's giveaway. I'm gonna give away the magic appearing pool cue to one lucky comment. So as you can see, the pool cue actually collapses into itself and it has all these layers that when you pull them out like this will form a full pool cue just like this. You can then collapse it back down and hide it inside the Pringles can. But as you can see, it doesn't fully fit inside. So take the can and on the back of it, we're going to cut a hole right here at the bottom. Once the hole is cut in the back, you can slide the pool cue through. So now when it sticks out the back, you can conceal it just like this behind the can and your hand. Then all you have to do to produce the pool cue from the can is reach inside and begin pulling it out. And it creates this really crazy illusion that the pool cue is somehow appearing from inside this can of Pringles. It is obviously way too huge to fit inside. You can also use this for a quick appearance by just flinging out like that and the sections will all slide into place quickly making it look like the pool cue just appears in an instant. The possibilities are really endless with this thing. You can make it look like it's just disappearing into your fist like that. Cool card trick here. I'm going to go like this and okay. you say stop whenever you feel it. Okay. Stop. Right there. Okay, take a look at the card that you stopped at and show it to the camera if you will. Perfect. Okay, put it back in the deck anywhere you want. Perfect. Okay. All right, got the card lost in the deck. I'm going to see if I can get your card. I think I can find it. Okay, watch. It's done. Do you remember the card? I do. Keep it in your mind. Is that the card? No. It's not the Ace of Hearts? It was not the Ace of Hearts. This is can a you bad grab, magic trick. Can you grab that salt shaker right there? So I'm going to take the Ace right here. If I take some of the salt and I put it on the card like this, watch. Look. What is going on? Just watch. That you said the Ace was not your card, right? It was right? not. Look. Was it the Seven of Diamonds? It was the Seven of Diamonds. <laughs> that is really magical. I have no idea how you did that. Okay, this table doesn't just make sevens, right? <laughs> All right, here's how it's done. I'm about to reveal the secret. The secret to this trick is extremely simple and I'll teach you how it's done right now. This is one I invented just for this video. It's really simple. You're going to poke some holes in the card before the trick starts. Use a safety pin or a thumbtack, something like that. You're just going to poke some holes in the shape of whatever card it is you're going to force on your spectator. This works best with a blue deck of playing cards on a dark background. That way the holes do not show when it is laying on the table. You want to make sure that you have a duplicate of this card so that you can do a double lift and ask the spectator if this is their card. When they say no, you can then flip the card over, leave the the front card of the double lift on the deck. Then all you have to do is dump some sugar. You can also use salt. Just dump it on the card and cover up the hole. Make sure you cover up the entire card. Now all we have to do is lift the card off the table and we will have that sugar piled on the card just like this. So the salt on top of the card is going to hide the holes in the card and then when you drop it on the table that salt falls through the holes 
and leaves the impression of the card on the table. So they thought you got it wrong, but it was actually part of the plan all along. Challenge your friends and family with this fun trick. So you have two matches set up just like this on top of a matchbox with a coin underneath. The challenge is, can they remove the coin without touching the matches? They'll try over and over again, try different ways, and every time the match will fall. The secret to winning the challenge is this. You're going to take a match and hold it underneath the two matches so that they light. When the matches ignite, they will lift up off the coin just like that, allowing you to remove. Quick run through of how to set this up. You're gonna open the match tray and wedge one of the matches right here in the front of the tray and then close the drawer just like that. Then coin right here on top and balance the other match right here on the tip of the match that you have sticking out of the box. Now the reason the matches lift up when you light them is because the sulfur at the tip fuse together and then as that paper burns it begins to curl up just like that just enough for you to remove the coin okay i have a little packet of cards here watch this what how did you do that oh my god is this real yeah this is called a magic spring fan. It is a set of playing cards that have been bonded together with a pivot point right in the middle. And they are spring loaded, so you can fold it up like this, pinch it right here, and when you release the pressure, the cards will spring open into a fan just like that. This is the perfect thing to make you look like a master card manipulator with no practice at all. Stay tuned for the end of this video if you want to win a magic spring fan. Okay, B, I have a cool trick to show you with this rubber band. It's yes. a normal rubber band, you can here check it out. Again. Fancy about it? <laughs> Nothing in my hands, right? Yeah. Seem normal? Yeah. Okay, so. Let's check it. Yeah. Wait, hold your finger. Ow. <laughs> I don't know how that checks. Not out. plastic. All right, so I have the rubber band right here. So I'm actually going to wrap it around my thumb like this. That's gonna hurt. You can see, it's totally wrapped around my thumb. Don't no pull too tight. No way it can come out, right? Watch. Ready? One, two. Pop right <laughs> through my thumb. Dang. Right now I have to take my thumb. <laughs> Here is the secret to the magic rubber band, and all you have to do is hold it like this, and then you're gonna bring your thumb inside. The other finger is gonna come over like this. Contact this side of the band, bring it over like so. Then you're gonna bring this thumb down and release this forefinger. Boom. Start out by holding the rubber band just like this on your left hand. The thumb of your right hand comes over and inside that band, stretch it out just like that. Then take the forefinger of your right hand, come over and contact this band right here and stretch it over top of the other. Now bring your thumb down like this. So this is what is on the bottom of the thumb. This is what you create. And it's kind of like a slip knot. Spread these two bands apart, will pop apart just like that. You might have to test a few different rubber bands to find one that works well. But once you find the right band and you practice the set up a few times, you can actually set it up right in front of people. So present it to the audience, you can actually pass the rubber band out for examination, you can use it with a borrowed rubber band, and then when you take it back, simply do the setup right in front of them. Say, look, I have the rubber band wrapped around my thumb like this, and if I just pull on the count of three, one, two, three, and the rubber band will pop right through my thumb. This is called a Mobius strip, and it is the most impossible shape known to man because this is a one-sided surface. All you need to make it is a long strip of paper and then turn one side 180 degrees and connect the two ends just like this. So you're right here and then twist one side, tape it right there. And to demonstrate that this is a one-sided surface, you can actually take a marker and draw a line down the middle without ever picking the marker up from the strip. And as you can see, we've drawn a line on both sides of the shape without ever lifting the marker from the paper. But it gets crazier if you take a pair of scissors and you cut down the middle line. Watch what happens. You get a giant loop of paper just like this, and it's not a Mobius strip anymore. But what do you think would happen if I cut it a little bit off center, about a third of the way over to the side right here? Let's see what happens. You now get two link rings of paper just like this. That is so 
crazy. This is one of the most magical things I have ever seen. One of the coolest paper tricks I've ever seen in my entire life. And it's totally self-working. All you have to do is make the Mobius strip at home and cut it like this and it will form these magic rings of paper that are just impossibly linked together. This is an awesome souvenir to hand out to an audience that they can keep and they will forever remember your amazing magic performance. It is bonus trick time. This is a fan favorite from EvanEraTV.com but it is rebranded and redesigned with a little alien on it. The magic sword trick. It's got this little bowl right here. You take it and put it through the plastic disc just like this. You can see it coming out the back there. Now all you have to do is push this little button and the alien sword goes right through the cow. Everybody knows aliens love to abduct cows. I gotta go Julia, we got cows. You can see the little sword goes right through the neck of the bowl just like that. You can pull this out, your audience can examine it. And what's actually happening is the sword is traveling the opposite direction all the way around this way. But it's happening so fast that you can't see it. Stay tuned for the end of the video. We're doing a special giveaway and you can win a magic sword for free. All right guys, that is it for this episode. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up button on the video and share it with someone you think might like it too. If you are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and tap the notification bell so you can learn new magic like this every single week. All the likes and the shares in the video really help with the YouTube algorithm. Let's see if we can get five likes on this video. We'll set the bar low. Also head over to EvanEraTV.com and pick up the new updated magic sword trick and a ton of other really cool magic tricks that you can't find anywhere else. The link for that is at EvanEraTV.com. We have super cool, super easy magic tricks that anyone can do. All age levels, all skill levels, and we ship the magic all over the world. So no matter where you are, you can get some magic shipped to your door. They make perfect holiday gifts. Again, the link for that is EvanEraTV.com. And it is giveaway time. If you want to win a magic sword trick without having to buy it all you have to do is leave a comment on this video be subscribed to the channel and leave a thumbs up do those three things and you are entered to win the giveaway i'll be giving away five magic pirate swords to five lucky comments in the comment section down below and all you have to do is leave a comment be subscribed to the channel and give the video a thumbs up how easy is that and it's time to announce the giveaway winners from our last how-to magic video the winners are magically appearing on the screen right here congratulations to everyone who won that giveaway and good luck to everyone entering this giveaway if you won that giveaway be sure to check the description of this video for instructions on how to claim your prize. If you missed the last episode of How To Magic, catch up by watching it right up here. Until next time, remember that anything is possible as long as you stay positive, work hard, and laugh at life. Love you guys.